Those who refuse will have to pay a new health contribution. Sont extrémistes qui croient pas dans la science, qui sont souvent misogynes, souvent racistes aussi. We have one of the biggest revolutions happening. Right now there's 50,000 truckers and about 1.4 million people headed to the parliament in Ottawa and they're going to stay there until Trudeau resigns or they give us back all of our freedoms and rights. Every overpass is packed with Canadians. Look at this right here. Look at this. truckers in this freedom convoy 2022 my goodness you guys have no idea how much what you're doing means to me and my family you see my husband he got myocarditis after his first dose and the doctors have refused an exemption for the second one which means he had to hang up his hat He's lieutenant at our local fire hall. He can't participate in certain parts of society. <laughs> you know, that's not the worst part. The worst part is his heart is injured. <laughs> and the vaccine injured people are being ignored. They're being called crazy. They're being called coincidences. Um, and enough is enough. Enough is enough. So thank you from the bottom, the very, very bottom of our hearts. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, for the first time in a long time, I actually have hope. <laughs> Hey guys, so I wish I had some good news here, but I do not. I've got some bad news from uh, some sources inside the uh, police infrastructure. Um, I consider this to be uh, very credible um, from some people that I trust. Uh, unfortunately, uh, rather than negotiate or speak to or deal with uh, 
this uh, you know, very popular movement that's happening across the country, the government has opted instead to use a uh, brute force. Um, uh, evidently, according to these guys, there's uh, hundreds of uh, RCMP uh, uh, members from the POU Public Order Unit, the riot cops, uh, are being assembled and bussed into the area. Uh, they're planning on mass arrests. Um, apparently they're working on this, uh, around the clock, 24-7, uh, on how they're gonna do this. Plan on, they're going to be killing cell phone service. You're not gonna be able to call, you're not gonna be able to live stream, you're not gonna be able to do anything. It's gonna be, it's gonna be off. Um, people that are arrested are gonna be collected, they're gonna be bussed down to, uh, Lansdowne, uh, for processing. And, um, that's how they're gonna plan to, uh, disperse this. They're gonna, rather than talk to anybody, rather than deal with any of this, the most, uh, peaceful, uh, unified, um, national moment we're having right now, uh, the state, this is apparently it's coming directly from the top, is to use a force to disrupt and, and, and disperse these protests, um, before Friday. Um, but that could mean, that could mean tomorrow. And then of course you've got the OPP here, you've got the Durham police I saw, I've got Toronto police, the entire uh, government apparatus is coming down on top of these people. Um, so for what it's worth, I'm telling you, this is the, I'm warning you, this is what, again, it's coming from people that I trust. They're coming and they're going to arrest everybody. And they're just going to come down there and they're going to lock you up and that's going to be that. They're planning to send in the jackboots to round everybody up and have them all arrested. And you've only got a couple of days, if that. So share that around, get this out, get this message out to the truckers, get it out to their, their organizers, their leadership. I'm already, you know, in touch with some of these guys and, and trying to let them know and warn them. Um, this is coming from, you know, good guys inside the apparatus that this is the plan, this is what they're working on, and this is what's coming. So buckle up. Imagine meeting as many beautiful traditional ladies as it takes until you meet the one. That's exactly what you can win right now. Just comment, subscribe, and share. The winner will be announced live right here.